Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video, we have seen how to create the front end of the music player app. We have designed the application and now from this video onwards, we will be defining important functions that will help us to add songs to our playlist, play the song, pause the song and everything. So let's get started. So in the previous code, I just want to change one thing that is here. Uh, I have given just delete. It will be delete selected. It will be used when we just need to uh, delete a single song from the playlist and delete all will be used when we need to uh, delete everything from the playlist. And one more thing that I need to change is we don't need this add command of multiple songs because it's a repetitive one. We will just use add song option. So we will remove this. So we will just have add song option and that's it. Now let's run the code once again. And after that, we will be implementing all other functions. So yeah, yes. So what I have changed in action now, there is only one option add song and in delete, delete selected. Okay, now let's create a function to add song to, to our list box that will named as add songs. And what we want is when a user click on the add song button, then a dialog box should open. So for that, we need to import the file dialog from the enter module. So let's import that as well from tk enter import file dialog okay so now here so whatever we will choose from that file dialog box will come under uh, variable songs that will actually contain the list of all the path to those songs so songs equals to file dialog dot ask open file names we will use file names because we need to select multiple options and the title of the dialog box will be select music folder and file type that we want it to include is that we want it to show us is uh, mp3 files so we will create parameter for that as well mp3 files and we will specify an identifier for that uh, like star dot mp3 what it means is that um, select all the files that start with any name but ends with dot mp3 okay so it will only give us uh, mp3 files and here comma so by chance we if we need to add extra options then we can append here so now after this uh, all the songs will be stored in this variable songs and we need to now iterate over this for song in songs okay now what we need to do is a create a list called directory list. Now directory list will contain list of dictionaries where each dictionary will contain the song name and path to that songs. Okay. So that we can access that uh, after when we need to play them. So first iterate over this for song in songs. Now uh, song name first we need to get. So songs here song here in the loop is actually a path. So in order to get the file name from this uh, we need to use a function in os module so i need to import os module as well import os now to get the uh, song name we need to use os dot path dot base name and here we will provide the song so now what it actually does is see let's say we have a path c in new folder here song dot mp3 so this is what song variable actually contains now what we need from this is this song dot mp3 part so we can extract this part using this os dot path dot base name okay now after this we need to extract the directory folder a path as well so for that we need to do is directory folder or directory path equals to what we need to do uh, we need to replace this song name from this song doing so we will get the directory folders path so we will do song dot replace replace the song name with just a blank empty string now we need to append this in a directory list so self dot directory list dot append will append in the form of dictionary so give a curly braces and this dictionary will contain the path as a key and its value will be directory path and the song will be song why am i doing this is actually in the list box we don't want to display the path to the songs instead we want to display the name of the songs 
it will be looking prettier than the latter so song will be song name now what we need to do is add this each song to our list box so we can do this using self dot songs list dot insert we need to insert the songs at the end of the list box and the song name here goes now after this what we will do is uh, when a user add the songs then we will select the first song we will highlight this so that it gets activated so we will do this self dot songs list dot selection set zero the zeroth index song will get selected now first of all let's define this self dot directory list in here we will initialize this as a list self dot directory list equals to an empty list now let's run the code and see if it actually adds the song to our list box or not now one more thing i missed is i need to mention this function name in the list box section no i mean in the command section of this add song so here in place of the command we will have to specify self dot add song now it should work so let's click on the action and go in the add song so here our folder gets opened now we have some songs let's choose multiple song here and after this just click on open so as you can see in the list box all the songs get appended and the first one gets selected due to the option that we have provided here so it's working fine our first function is completed now what we need to do is play the song so let's implement that as well so let's create a function to play a song play play song now here uh, first of all what we need to do is whenever a play song uh, option is called then the progress scale value that is the scale box we want is it should start from zero so we will initialize it to the zero so progress scale its value we want to reset to zero and the time elapsed label should also get reset to zero so we need to do this as well time elapsed label its text should reset to this now what we need to do is we need to display the song currently playing on the status bar now for this we need to extract the current song that is the active song so to do that we need to do is song name equal to we need to get the active part of the list box so we will do self dot songs list dot get active that is the highlighted one okay now we will change the status bar that is update the status bar so status dot config and here we will give the text equal to a f string playing and here we will have the song name that we have just defined above and we will also provide the index so we will give song self dot songs list list dot index of the active song that is the current song active and of self dot songs list size so let's make it a new line yes it's now looking fine now after this we have just extracted the song name but we can't play this uh, song just by using that song name we need to get the path to that song so we will iterate through the directory list and get that path and we'll pass it to the function that actually plays the song okay so now we will first create directory path equals to none and now we will iterate over the directory list that we have created so for dictionary and self dot directory list here now we will check every dictionary in this dictionary list and we will check um, if the song name is actually equal to the song name we have defined if it is equal to that then we will take that directory folder and we will combine the directory folder and the song name so that we get the complete path to that the song name okay so let's do that if dictio song is equal to the song name and then what we need to do is we need to get that directory folders path dictio path now in the directory path we have the folder folders name so now what we need to do is we need to create a song name with path with and it will be an f string as well so we need to combine the directory path with the song name so now we have a complete path of the song using this now after this we need to extract some data from the song now after this we need to actually extract some data from the song and that is the length of this song so that we can uh, display that on the uh, time duration label okay so for that we actually need to import one another package that is mutagen mutagen actually is used when we need to extract the metadata of the any music file so let's first install that so we will do pip install mutagen and present it now i think it's going to install this Yes, it's installing that. So it has successfully installed the mutagen package. Now we have to import certain uh, classes from it. We need to import from mutagen dot mp3 import mp3. This will help us to actually get the the duration of the song. Now here in the play function, we will get the song duration. So first we will get the music data equals to mp3, and here we will pass the path of the song song with path, and now we will access the length of the music data self dot music length so integer of music data dot info dot length now this will get us the duration of this music in seconds so now we need to convert it into a format of minute and seconds so that we can display that on the duration label in the uh, music player window so for that we need to do is self dot 
music duration label and we need to change its text to a format of minute and seconds in that we will do using time module so we need to import that as well import time now we will do this now we can time dot strf time and here we will provide the format that we will need so here we'll get percent and we need minutes so we will specify capital m and colon then percent and we need seconds so we will specify percent s and close the inverted comma now we will get time dot gm time and here we'll pass the self dot music length that we have extracted from the mutagen library and this will actually convert our time format to uh, minutes and seconds now what we need to do is uh, change the uh, value of progress scale now progress scale starts from the zero and ends with the uh, the length of the music so we will specify the its two value so self dot progress scale we need to configure its two value to self dot music length now when we click on the play button it should change its symbol so we will change its icon so self dot play button dot config and we will change its image to self dot pause icon self dot pause icon so after this we need to actually play the song uh, now for that we need to import one another library that is pygame that will help us to actually play the song so for that we need to do pip install pygame pip install pygame so i have already installed so let's go above and import it as well import pygame and to use pygame we need to initialize it as well so let's go in below the section if name equals to main and here we will initialize the pygame so we will do pygame not init now after this we can actually use all the functionalities so here we will play the song by using pygame dot mixer dot music dot load and here we will provide the path of the song so it is song with path and after that we need to actually play this so pygame dot mixer dot music dot play so now let's run the code no again i have done one mistake i need to provide this function name to the button command so let's do that quick in the self dot play button we need to specify this play button here instead of command there will be self dot play song and it's done so let's run the code and see if it actually works let's run it now go to the action menu and click on the add song and we will select these songs here and click open now everything is appended here in the list box and first one is selected now if we click on this play it should play so as you can see that whatever we have implemented till now is working really fine and the music is playing really well now from the next video onwards we will be seeing how to pause the music and how to implement the next buttons previous buttons and we will also see that how to seek this scale so that it moves as the music plays so that's it for this video we'll meet in the next one bye bye